fans across the world are mourning the loss of a Mexican music icon. Juan Gabriel died of an apparent heart attack in Santa Monica, California yesterday. Sarah Doncha is joining us now with a look back at this legendary performer's life and legacy. You know, Bill and Lauren, it's kind of hard to overstate how big his legacy really was. Juan Gabriel was as big a star as you could be in Mexico, around the world, really. He sold more than 100 million records. He wrote hit songs for other artists. He was even an actor. He was also inducted into Billboard's Latin Music Hall of Fame in 1996. And after a 45-year career, his lifelong fans say he will be missed. Mexican music legend Juan Gabriel's influence was felt far and wide, and fans in Houston are mourning his death. Juan Gabriel was an artist that touched all generations. I think you can ask a 15-year-old who is Juan Gabriel. Not only will they know who Juan Gabriel is, but they will know his music. According to his publicist, the star died Sunday at his home in California from an apparent heart attack. He was 66 years old. Today, radio stations like Mega 101 played his ballads, many about love and heartbreak. Mega 101, seguimos recordando al grande, a Juan Gabriel, el día de hoy. The artist was also known for mega hits like Amor Eterno and Querida, songs that became wildly popular across Latin America, in Spain, and with Spanish speakers here in the United States. Local DJ Liz Ariola has fond memories of his music. And I remember being in the concert and, you know, just singing his music and all of a sudden I just felt overwhelmed with emotion and I start crying as I'm singing the songs for no reason. But other than it just reminded me of family. Vigils were held in Mexico Sunday night following the death of the superstar. Since his music is, is universal and eternal, um, his music has been a part of a part of the lives of all of us since since the early 70s. In fact, in fact, when my mama died, we played uh, Amor Eterno at, at her funeral. Juan Gabriel was scheduled to perform in El Paso yesterday. He died just hours before that. He was also scheduled to perform here in Houston in November. Still no official word on funeral arrangements, but again, uh, definitely a great legacy from this man. I bet that was a sold out crowd here yeah. in Houston. Yeah. Yeah. Sad story. Thank yeah. you, Sarah.